It was a big game. And I don't remember who it was against and all this. It was first year in, in Los Angeles. And I had a good run in Chicago with uh, what guys were going to run, team, team of mine, what they were going to run and all this. And so we went out and he goes, who do you think they're going to run? I said, they're going to run this play. And I had a diagram. Well, they're going to run this play. Like, I said, what do you think? I said, you make $5 million a year. You figure it out. I walked out of the hub. What does he do? He starts laughing. <laughs> so I walked back in. I said, they're going to run this coach. It was the right play and we won the game. But even in moments like that, you know, you could have fun with him or he'd have fun with you. It was a great atmosphere to be in. My name is Frank Hamlin. I was an assistant coach with the Los Angeles Lakers. And uh, during that time, Phil Jackson, obviously, we were fortunate enough to win uh, five championships. Indiana is known as a, a, a big basketball state. I remember growing up, uh, going outside and playing basketball, shoveling snow first. So we'd get out and play on the courts. And we'd play in t-shirts, you know. And I just played all the time. I'd get on my bicycle with a basketball and ride all around town and look for games to play. On my sophomore year, we actually got to the state finals, which is a big deal. It was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. We played at Hinkle Fieldhouse. I just couldn't believe, you know, it just kept going up. You look up in the stands, you know, how big it was. And actually, that's where they shot the Hoosiers. It, it worked out for me. I think I made a scholarship. Syracuse, it was a great experience. Dave Bing was a senior when I was a freshman. Jim Beheim was, on the, was a senior. I had $200 in my pocket when I left Syracuse. I went, I drove across country to Los Angeles to get in the business. And um, Dave Bing came to town with the Pistons. They were playing the Lakers. So I saw him after the game, and he said they were playing in San Diego the next night. So I said, I've never been to San Diego. I'll drive down there. Drove down there and met Pete Newell, went and interviewed with him the next day, and wound up hiring me as a scout. So I never did get but I majored in college, you know, the broadcast side of it or behind the scenes, you know, radio and television type situation. I just went from there. So Shaq McMahon, then Alex Hannum, Tex Winter. Then I went up and rejoined Alex Hannum. Then Larry Brown, Doug Ball, Cotton Fitzsimmons for six years. And then Phil Johnson for two years. I went to Milwaukee for 10 years with Dell Harris. I got to see a lot of the United States. So I'm sitting at the bar, this big tall guy with these squared shoulders, a Panama hat and a t-shirt said, uh, mind if I sit there? I go, no, it's open, sit there. I said, hi, my name's Phil Jackson. I said, I know who you are. I said, my name's Frank Campbell. I said, I know who you are. That's where our relationship started. And uh, it grew there. You know, I was actually out here in San Diego on vacation when they called me. Jerry Krause was on the phone. They had an opening, and would I be interested? I went with the Bulls. I said, Sh heck yes, Jerry. I get a call a week later. I said, we're sending out a press release tomorrow in regard to we're hiring you. I said, congratulations. I go, okay. Phil and Jerry called me up, congratulated me. And I don't know what I'm going to make or anything. All I know is Milwaukee still owes me money, so that's fine. But I'm going to be with the Chicago Bulls and have a chance to win a championship. And it took me 28 years to win that first championship. So they could have, I, I would have paid them. I call this my big shot deal. Bill Clinton, big shot. Hillary Clinton, big shot. White House with Obama, big shot. Michael, big shot. Beat Utah. Big shot Rob, big shot. That's a shot he hit against Sacramento. I sure have one of Fisher when he hit that shot against San Antonio. It's too big, I have it on the wall. I knew LA was on the verge of winning championships. And with Phil there, I thought he could pull it all together, you know, as he had with Chicago. The success that that coaching staff had I mean, players are going to listen. You know, especially guys who want to win a championship desperately. I mean, they know they're ready to win a championship. And this guy's done it six times. I feel he's great at building chemistry. Phil has spent a lot of time away from the game, but always thinking about the game and how to make it better uh, for his players, building the chemistry and getting everybody, you know, on, on the same page. And we'd always meditate. You know, I kind of scoffed at it at first, but then I really got into it. I really thought it was a good thing. I think it helped me a lot, just clearing your mind and kind of staying within, the, you know, in the moment and all that. And I think it helped our players a lot. And I think that's one of his big assets. 
is being able to do that. Kobe patterned himself after Mike. I think that's enough said. He didn't pattern himself after anybody else. You know, he prepared, he practiced hard like Michael, wanted to win every situation, every game, every drill. Worked hard in the off season, worked hard during the season, off the floor, to stay ready to get better, get his body better. Yeah, he, he, he was like Michael in that regard. Kobe scored his 81 points against Toronto. That's a stat sheet, he signed it. That's a ticket, he signed it. They were beating us pretty good. And Kobe just got on such a roll. I don't know, I mean, how big did the basket look to him, you know? Unbelievable. I, I never seen an exhibition like that. They should have beat us that day. And if it wasn't for Kobe putting on, you know, throwing 81 at him, they would have beat us. When we got Pau Gasol, I mean, that, that put us back in a big championship contender. He was a great player. We wanted to get the ball inside as much as possible. And he was perfect for it. He could catch the ball, he could pass with either hand, he could score with either hand in the post. Very knowledgeable, great teammate, uh, just a skilled guy. Well, Boston beat us in 2008. Bynum was hurt that year. 2009, we beat Orlando in the finals. Bynum was back playing, but Powell was playing great, and Kobe was playing great. In 2010, beating Boston, you know, a big rivalry for years, and Boston seemed to always get the, always had the upper hand. It felt good to win that game, you know, to win that championship, to beat Boston. I miss a lot of things about it. I miss the camaraderie with the players, the coaching staff, you know, the people you travel with, and I miss the big games.